Man, this hot chocolate is so fucking good. I bought a giant thing of Swiss Miss from Costco. <laughs> so, I've been, I've been enjoying myself on that. Hot chocolate is anabolic. Did you know that? <laughs> I had some hot chocolate recently, too. Well, gee, there you go. That's why the PR is a father, bro. <laughs> yeah. The hot chocolate oh. boys. <laughs> there you go. That's going to be our uh, our company name or our coaching name. You know. <laughs> the all right, Coco right. boys. Hot Coco boys. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Road to the Meat. We are episode 14. I am joined once again by my co-host, Dom DG. Now, Dom DG is very, very close to his meat. So we're going to have a couple of action-packed episodes. We are, well, I am officially starting the last block. So we're going to cover training um, in a, a bit of a later section, obviously. Uh, but we're basically in it. I'm officially in it. Dom's, Dom's been in it. Okay. Dom, yep. inform the audience how many days out you are at this point. I'm 15 days out, so two weeks 15. out tomorrow. So that's it's oh my goodness, yep. two weeks out. That's insane, man. That's insane. Next yeah, episode, it'll, it'll be start single feel real. digits. Yeah. Yep. Oh my god. I mean, it's probably felt real for a minute, but I mean, like now you're like, oh crap, dude. Right, hey, are you uh, are you gonna bring a singlet to the gym anytime soon? Are we gonna see Dom in a singlet? I don't know. I haven't I haven't asked Sean if I have to like lift in the singlet beforehand to get used to it. I really don't want to, to be honest. I'm definitely a guy who gets a little bit embarrassed. But he did. Speaking of stuff along the same lines, uh, my coach Sean he uh, he said I should um, get someone to do my calls for bench. So like, uh, oh like yeah, when I should like my lift, like not like what's a, what's the term for that? It's uh, like commands, commands, commands. Yes, yeah, yeah, commands. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he, he said I should get someone to do my commands for bench um, leading up to this. So I don't know if that's starting next week. It should be starting soon because I do notice like with my benching, like I haven't really focused on holding the weight there, dropping it down, really thinking about how long I should hold the pause and then putting it up and then waiting to rack. Like I haven't done any of that process yet and you don't want to go into a meet not having that experience. So I think from like here on out, I probably need to really think about making sure I'm doing it in like – like with commands or at least close to how commands would be. Um, but I'm not too worried about it, to be honest. Yeah. Well, I mean, I know that my coach already wants me in a singlet right now. And I am, by the way, Thanks. 30 days out. Just want to point that out there. Because last time I said I didn't even mention how many days out I was. So I'm 30 days oh, yeah, out. Yeah. So about a month out. In fact, it'll be exactly a month tomorrow. Because I think I'm going to be competing on December 5th. So, and it's November 4th at the time of this recording. So, my coach wants me in a singlet already. The problem is, is that I ordered a singlet on October 17th. It still hasn't even shipped. So, uh, it might be looking like a Dom type situation where I'm not going to get a lot of time or I'm not, I'm, Dom's deciding not to, but I'm really not going to have a choice. I'm not going to have enough time to, uh, to practice um, in a singlet. Um, leading up to the meet, which I think is like okay. I mean, obviously it's not ideal, but because it's my first meet, like I, I'm not expecting to do fantastic anyway. So yeah, I would like some more time to sort of understand how it feels to squat in a singlet, to deadlift in a singlet. But I think it's it's not going to be too detrimental in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just like it's like feeling wise, like it feels weird probably putting it on for the first time. And if you're not like prepared for that, like I remember the first time I put on knee sleeves, I was like, this feels like really weird. And I almost didn't really know how to squat like in the sleeves. And it's the same thing for maybe, maybe, I don't know if people have experienced this with a belt. Sometimes you put on a belt for the first time and it's like, how do I even use this? <laughs> how do I even use this thing properly? Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. that could probably be like some part of it. But yeah, I think if a singlet takes like numbers off or on your total, I, I highly doubt that, that that that's that reason. And even if that was the case, I think that says a lot more about, hey, there we go. <laughs> nice, bro. All right, so I'm going to go first for training because Dom's training is super, super specific now. And he's got a lot of cool stuff to share. I have cool stuff to share as well, but it's less cool. So, so 
Um, there was one lift that I unfortunately did not get to show you guys last week, and it was because we recorded the day before I hit it, and that was my deadlift triple for week two of this sort of prep thing or whatever. So for my deadlift triple last week, I headed down to game day at Barbell, and the deadlift for me has been kind of a finicky lift, as you guys know. I'm built to bench, which um, usually means that the deadlift suffers, and it's it's... I wouldn't say that it's not going good because it's going great, to be honest. I mean, like, I'm hitting PRs, but it's like nothing I, – I just don't feel confident. You know, like every single time I go to pull, I, I really just – I'm not too sure, like, how it's going to go, which is kind of, like, frustrating for me. Um, yeah. And, like, even performing the reps, everything kind of feels a little crunchy. Um, nothing feels smooth. Um, I'm still working on my technique, which is not good because it's, you know, four weeks out. So, but despite all that, we're still hitting a ton of PRs. So, at game day, I got the text from Coach. He said, you want me to pull three reds, which if you don't know what three reds is, it's 374 pounds. So, I mean, I was pretty shocked because the previous week, if you remember, I had 352 for a triple. So we're jumping like 20 pounds, 22 pounds. So 10 yeah, whole kilos. Yeah, 10 whole kilos, which is, you know, I was expecting like 365, maybe 363. But like to jump that much and keep in mind, like my max, if you remember that I tested, uh, not the uh, not in the summer, but like before I tried out or on tryout day, that was 385. So I was in my head thinking like perhaps I have 395 as my one rep max. So hitting 20 pounds less, what was supposed to be a triple S7, like that was a kind of a tall ask in my opinion. So yeah. I still did it though. I hit 375 or 374 rather for a triple and I'm not too sure it was a seven, um, but I hit it. It moved and uh, I would have taken, it, you know, because uh, moving into the week after is the last week of triples anyway, before we get into singles. So, you know, I don't know if you remember what that looked like, Dom, but it, I mean, it was okay, but it, like, I don't know if I call that a seven and I don't know. So, yeah, I think, I think it was around a seven. I mean, it might've been like a seven and a half, eight at most, but well, I mean, the, the, I the next, it, okay. and your next deadlift session went well too, right? Oh yeah. 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 So I want to get into that first. We got to go in order. So, okay. Uh, this is the last week of triples. Like I mentioned. So, of course, I started off this week with some squats. And uh, squats are moving, dude. Oh, my God. Squats are moving. I don't know. I'm, I'm <laughs> feeling so good about the squat. I just uh, – like it's like one of the first times in my lifting career where I've really, really felt super confident about my squatting ability. Like the squat for me has always been a lift that I've gotten like – confidence issues about i've had bar fear about squats i've gotten injured squatting twice and it's just like a lift that's always kind of uh kind of just not been great for me but right now yeah. i'm i'm so excited every single time i go to squat i'm like yes let's go so this week we moved to a new gym um so we're not on kilos anymore we're on pounds which kind of sucks but it is what it is. I'm not going to complain about it. I actually really like the new gym. It's like an old school bodybuilding type gym. It's a Metroflex. And, you know, mm -hmm. it's kind of rusted and the plates are all mismatched and chipped. And there's like <laughs> graffiti on the walls. And these machines look like they're from like the 90s or the 80s. They haven't been updated. Yeah. But man, the vibe, the vibe is unmatched bro. It's awesome. Everybody there is super cool. There's like metal blasting at all times, which is great because I love metal. And it's just, it's a great, it's a great freaking time. So nice. went in for squats. I originally was going to go for 363 pounds or 365 as my top triple, but 365 for a triple moved really, really well. Like stupid well. Like it was like probably a, like a six or a seven at best. So I was like, I have a triple at eight. These are the heaviest triples I'm going to hit on this, you know, prep. So I'm like, okay. I texted my coach. He said, go 375. 
So, as you do, I went 375, loaded that, hit it for a triple at probably an RP8, maybe even RP7. Like, it just moved. Yeah, it looked fast. It moves so fucking good, bro. Oh, I was so hyped. And keep in mind, that's my one rep max right there. Like, I know Dom's moving his one rep max like it isn't anything. I'm also starting to move my one rep max like it isn't anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, you. it looked like you could hit that for five or six for sure. Oh, man. Mm. I was super, super excited, man. I was so happy with the way that moved. I kind of wanted to lo- load four or five that right then and just squat it right there. But we're going to save that for the next couple of weeks. So squats yep. are moving absolutely amazing. Um, definitely thinking I'm going to squat something big at this meet. Um, we maybe we'll talk about that later at a different time. But yeah, I'm feeling really, really confident with my squat coming up. Then we're going to bench. Bench is also... Bench is kind of in a weird spot. It's 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 okay, but at the same time, it doesn't like feel like super great. So like bench is like dead in the middle because squats are like going amazing. Deadlifts are they're not going poor, but they're I really wish they were going better. And like bench is like in this middle where, you know, it's not moving amazing, but it's not moving terrible. It's just kind of it's decent, I guess I should say. Um yeah. But I did hit a PR this week. So um, we had a top triple at eight. If you remember last week, I did 297 pounds for a top triple at seven. Um, This time, of course, we're not on kilos anymore. But I moved up to 305 pounds. Did that for a triple at probably about an eight, eight and a half maybe. I kind of, again, wanted to to be cheeky and, and go three plates. But... I, I had to check myself a little bit. I was like, no, nah, we got to save that. I can say that for the platform. I didn't want to overshoot and then have a bunch of things go wrong. Um, but the, the yeah. pressure was there, bro. Especially with the way that 305 moved. I don't know if you I don't, I don't know if you remember how that moved or if you even saw that. But um, I'm not sure. But I, I feel like your bench is moving well. You don't think it's moving well? I mean, I think it's moving okay. Like... <sighs> It's it's in one of those spots where like like on video it looks good, but like when I'm actually benching, like it kind of doesn't feel like super super great. And then finally, we're back to deadlifts, and uh, I did manage to deadlift before this session this week, so we hit another PR, pretty awesome PR, but again didn't move exactly the way that I wanted to. Again, top triple at eight, we loaded three hundred eighty five pounds. For a triple at eight. Now, this deadlift triple was, oh, it wasn't like the greatest deadlift triple. Like, I feel like I'm still kind of suffering from that ramping issue um, that I've been having. Um, I'm, I'm like really, really trying to like, you know, engage the hips almost even before it hits the knees just because I'm so afraid of the ramping issue. Um, but my lockouts are still looking really, really slow. And it's something that I really don't want to have happen uh, during the meet. So we're going to we're gonna see how it is. Um, that, that 385, again, was like the heaviest deadlift that I had pulled. Um, I mean, I pulled 405 before, but like when I tried out, I pulled 385 pounds and then I missed 405. So yeah, I remember that. Yeah. So I guess you could call this my max, um, that I pulled for a triple and probably I would say, I mean, it could have been an eight, but the last one would have been an absolute crazy grinder. So I want to call that maybe an eight and a half, nine. Um, but Hey, it moved. I got it up. Um, and uh, we're just really going to focus on, on you know, engaging the hips and, and finishing with the hips instead of, you know, trying to drag the bar up my body like I've been like I've been trying to do. Yeah. And that was kind of it. I mean, I did some accessories. You know, I'm still doing pause squats, still doing uh, uh, tempo bench, still doing close grip. But you know, those are accessory lifts, and how many people really care about that? Although I was, I did do uh, pause squats with 320. Or was it 319 nice. for like five yeah, reps? I this. Yeah. That, that, that looked clean. That was, they were they looked clean, but they felt terrible. I was dying under that. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I know that you fucked with pause squats, but I don't know how many reps like was your max rep count. 
but like bro they were so brutal oh man yeah i i've been doing like singles for my top set pause so that's like nice because it's like you know you pump you can you could get that done real quick but the downsets i've had like fives in the past and stuff and it's like doing five reps pause always sucks because you're like it's just like hard to breathe like yeah for sure take a big ass breath yeah you had to keep the brace in the hole, and they had to come up, and then you have to like, <gasps> and then like <laughs> you're just dying, bro. Oh man, they yeah. are pretty brutal, especially when you start getting heavier. And like, I'm 319 pounds for fives is crazy for me. Like, that's I mean, I mean, it moved really good, like you said, but geez, they were really tough. I mean, I feel like it's not too long ago, at least for myself. I don't know if I can't remember what your numbers were looking like, but that like 319 for five for me would have been like a huge PR not too long ago, not paused, you know? Oh yeah. No, me too. Same. Yeah. Speaking of your training, Dom, how about we get into what you're doing about two weeks out from your meet? Tell us how your weeks goes. Cause you have also been crushing some numbers. I don't know. I think you have had a couple of absolute PRs, but I know you've had an astronomical amount of ability PRs. So why don't you go ahead and talk about that? Yeah. So I started off the week. I did a pause single, like we're talking about. I did 335 pounds for a pause on squat. Um, Moved pretty well. I do kind of like sink into the bottom of the hole when I'm doing pause squats. So I definitely got to work on like, um, you know, coming down maybe a little bit slower and not letting and not letting myself just kind of fall, like keeping myself tight. Uh, And then I hit bench on the same day. I did 215 pounds for three which I think is, I think is a PR for me paused. Uh, and it moved really nice. I didn't get a video of that one, but Ed Cohen was watching and he said, my bench looked really good. He complimented me. I was kind of scared. He was about to roast me. Cause that's the first time you see me bench, but he said it looked perfect. <laughs> he didn't even give me any critiques, so I'll take it. I'm not sure it looked perfect, but I'll take it. Um, and then the next day I did uh, deadlifts and I hit 430 pounds for two. And that's mm. definitely a PR for me. Uh, I hadn't, I mean, I don't, I think that's a one rep PR for me, unless you count. I've had the 445 uh, deadlift that one time that was kind of iffy if I actually locked it out or not. So I'm yeah, kind of counting like, anything over 415, a one rep max for me right now, or like a PR. But um, <laughs> what were you saying? I was going to say, that was the one, this, was that the one that you missed by like an inch? So your lockout was like, if, just so close, yeah. like a centimeter or something. But yeah, I'll, I'll put that clip in. It's, it's like almost locked out. It wouldn't count in competition, but like for a gym PR, I feel like most people would probably count it. So like, that's like the most I've ever touched is 445. So 430 for two clean, probably like RP eight, maybe even less was amazing. Um, and then uh my next session i had uh squats again i did 365 pounds for two uh my previous best was 360 pounds for one so i'm in our uncharted territory i'm hitting prs and that one also moved pretty fast like my form not the greatest i was a little off center on the bar i was probably a little too low on my back where the bar is placed just a couple things to tweak but it moved like probably like an eight maybe a seven and a half even it looks really, really um, so good. So for some for a weight that I haven't touched before, I'll definitely take it. Pretty similar to you with the 375. I know you've hit that before, but it was moving like you could hit it for like six. So it's pretty crazy what we're doing now. That's good. True. And uh, yeah, and then I benched after that, and I hit 235 pounds for two singles, which kind of matches like a pause PR for me. So and those moved decent. Like it wasn't anything. Like I was kind of slower than I'd like, but you know. I'll take it. Uh, maybe I'll get 245, maybe even 250 for the meat, the way bench is looking, um, which I'll I'll be super happy with, to be honest. You should ask uh, yeah. ask your coach if you can try 120, which is 265, bro. I'm telling yeah. you, I don't I don't know if it's not there. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how I feel in like a week. I hope I hope <laughs> I can get something like that, but I don't know. My bench definitely needs some work. It's it like my form. I think it's like more of like almost like a hip mobility thing where I have a hard time getting my like feet in a good position to get a lot of leg drive. Um, mm. So I feel like I'm losing a lot of power on my hips. Uh, but and I don't have like a huge arch. So I feel like there's definitely some areas for me to improve in terms of like efficiency and like um, range of motion and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I'm just happy with how training is going. I feel like both of us had a really good training week and yeah, shit's getting full of pretty real. 
I was going to ask, because it's two weeks out, are you getting kind of, uh, does it kind of feel like uh, it's like, I don't know, does the atmosphere feel different? Do you have a different vibe about you now that you're two weeks out? Or is it still kind of just like every, just taking it day by day, kind of making sure I, you know, it's like going to a job, punching the clock, doing the work, and then going home. Yeah. Or are you like, okay, no, we've got this, it's inside, I can see it. Are you feeling any kind of, I don't know. Anything like that at all? Yeah, my my mentality right now is like I'm just grinding, I'm doing the work, and I'm kind of, like I'm almost nervous for hitting lifts that are close to a max or are a max for me because like I've been hitting PRs, but like they're sub maximal. Like mm. it's stuff that I know I can hit, and like maybe I'm a little bit nervous. Like I went and did 365 for two yesterday. I mean, on squats, and I was kind of nervous going into that lift. Like, I didn't know how I was going to go. But it's like, I know I'm going to be able to hit that for two. Like, it'd be a really bad day if I can't hit it for two. It's more of like, how close to my failure am I going to be? But getting to a single where you're actually close to failure is something I haven't done in a really long time. And so that's a little bit nerve-wracking. But, uh, I mean, I think I'm ready. I, I'm excited to actually test. I haven't tested a one rep max in God knows how long, probably like six, seven months. So uh, I, I want to see what my body can do. Okay, guys, that wraps up another episode of Road to the Meet. Thanks for, thanks for watching and keeping along with us as we go on this journey for our first meets. Uh, I am 15 days out. Ani's 30 days out. We're getting there. And uh, if you guys want to keep following along and fo see what we're doing, follow us on social media. Uh, all our social media. So I, you can follow me on TikTok at Natty Lifting. You can follow Ani on Instagram at Sabretooth with an underscore. I'll put it on the screen. And make sure to subscribe to this channel to see the rest of the episodes leading up to the meet. And thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next week.